Afternoon for us all. Where'd you start with that one? It wasn't difficult. It was embarrassing. I've never, I've never been involved in anything like that in my life. I'm support, supports probably never have. You know, for all the bad results that they've had through the years. What can you say except for embarrassing? I'm, 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 I'm shaking. I'm not mad. I'm shaking. I've never seen anything like it in my life. It was a defensive horror show, wasn't it, first half? Yeah. It was, <laughs> I actually think we were, we were a lot worse in the first half than we was in the second. There was one or two little mitigating circumstances in the second half. Lads are still trying to get in the game. We have a sending you know, off the first half. I've never, I've not, like I said to you, I've not seen stuff like that before. Everything that they seem to hit, everything they, they, they put into the box, landed to one of their players, seems to have an age. It was easy. It was absolutely easy, you know, easy for, for the opposition and um, never seen it like it. No doubt you'll watch the videos back and go through it in more detail in the coming days, but. Can you put your finger on what went wrong in the first half? Was it individual mistakes or was it a collective thing for the team? Yeah, I think it was a collective thing. Believe it or not, one or two players actually worked hard. You know, we, we got in behind them three or four times in the first half. We had chances, we had, we had opportunities to say we get in the second half. We knew that we could get behind them. Um, they've took the chances. I mean, it'd be staggered to see what the stats were, but they must have put in 80% of the, you know, the opportunities that they created and um, just not right. Difficult to put into words, you know, what, what to say about it, apart from getting personal with one or two of the players. I can't do that, I'm not going to stand here and do that, but um, to say I'm embarrassed, you know, is, is, me being, is me being nice and kind, you know, trying to sort of bite my tongue a little bit, one or two things I want to say, but um, I've never known nothing like that before. From a team point of view, was it important now that we don't let the heads drop too far down with another game on Tuesday? Yeah, but also it's important that, that they understand what's just happened. 8-1 we, we conceded 7 against Liverpool's first team we just conceded 8 goals and it could have been more in actual fact um, so you're right we've got a game on Tuesday um, but one or two need to understand what's happened I, I've just gone in there and I've said to one or two of them rip your contracts up rip your contracts up and leave the football club because some of that, that performance I, I wouldn't dare turn up again and, and I feel the same myself about myself to be honest with you I'm embarrassed to be able to walk out there on Tuesday night in front of how many people are going to be there I feel embarrassed about it. So, God knows what one or two of them are thinking. Um, you know, it's in a, in, a, in, a, in a frightening sort of way. It's, it's a decent thing. It's happened so early in the season because the one thing, if nothing else, that he'll do is put lads' feet back on the ground because, that, that, you know, as I said, that, that to, to get beat and can see that in the goals in, at this level of football is um, it's not right. You don't think they got too cocky, do you, after the win on Monday? I don't think it was anything to do with cockiness. It was just, we were we were poor. As I say, I, th I feel like the, the first couple of chances they got put in the net, you know, two down, you're thinking, OK, let's see how we respond. And then they get a third. And, and you know, obviously the second half, we're trying to almost push to get back in the game. And every time we went forward, they looked like they were going to score. We, I think their eight goals summed it up for me that, that, that they've gone in. You know, they could have done what everyone in this squad to his pal and they've put it in. We're shooting from 40 yards. We, we just did things we don't do. We, we, we did things we don't do and we didn't do things that we do we are meant to do in, 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 in what we've done over the first two games and in training so you'd like to say it's a one-off that's the proof's in the pudding over the next couple of games but um, when there's no sort of um, build up to that happening and that just sort of bangs like you, you know there's a lot of things you can put it down to but I've never seen anything like it so is it a good thing then that we've got a game on Tuesday to respond so quickly? I suppose it is. I mean, the, the only unfortunate thing is that we're not we're not in before it in, in, in terms of uh, putting things right. But we can watch all the video nasties as you want at that game. You know, some of the some of the basic errors. Um, you could have put an under under ten, twelve team out and wouldn't have considered so many goals. It was it was it was shocking. In terms of, I suppose, game plan goes out the window almost so early in the game, 20 minutes in, it's 2 0 down. I mean, is there anything you would have, you and Bernard would have done differently, or is it one of those things you go behind so early in the game, you, you kind of you have to change, or do you, do you stick with what you got, or do you go with a different shape? Or it's... Well, in hindsight, after getting pissed at 8 1, you probably have changed the shape, knowing what you know now. Of course, you would. It's justifying changing the shape after the great start we've had and, and, and throwing the white towel in and saying, well, I mean, to be fair, we look like through the white towel in anyway throw the white towel and say right everything we've done over the last five and six weeks goes out of the window because we're 2-0 down do you know what I mean so it's almost right lads for the first time this, this, since we've been together now our backs are against the wall how do you respond to that um, 
every time they, they they went forward, they scored another goal. They scored another goal. Before you know it, you're six nil, six nil down. Whatever it was, you get a sending off. Um, actually, for, for ten minutes after he got sent off, we got a bit more of the ball. The pitch seemed to, to you know open up a little bit. And we got we got a little bit more of, of, of the ball, but I can't even start talking about positives. <laughs> there isn't any. In terms of, I mean, what you you going after a defeat like that? I mean, there's not many. No, 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 no. I mean, what do you say? What do you say to a group well, like that? To be Is it fair, a case of, you know, Burn has got a name that talks about sticking together. He's spot on. We've yeah. got a game on Tuesday. I, 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 my, the way I'm thinking, I, I've just told you what I said to one or two of the players. It's, it's, it's a difficult situation. I've gone over. There must have been, I don't know, 250 supporters here. We got booed off at half time, and rightly so. I've never been booed off before in 10 years of management. I've never been booed off. So straight away, that, you know, I'm embarrassed. Um, then. You know they've wait, They've not waited to clap us off at the end. They waited to see the response of the lads, and, and, and I've never seen nothing like it. You know, you go over to the supporters. You know, with me and Bernard and one or two of the lads, and we clap the support, and you can hear what they're thinking. You know, let, let's get it right. You know, we, we've given a little bit of hope over the last couple of games, and what's just gone on today has almost dragged everything that's happened over the last three or four years right back into into the shop window, if you will. Um, and they start to compare us to that again. Yeah, that's, you know, that's, that's what it is from the absolutely, from the game, absolutely. So, so everything that we've Tried to eradicate and talk about you know about the positivity and all this stuff. It's just just gone out the window again, unfortunately. Um, you know, we, we, it was going to take a long time to, to build that trust up. Um, I suppose if we'd have conceded two in the first game and three on Monday night, then you'd almost go, all right. And now it's come from nothing. We've conceded no goals in two games, and they've come here and conceded eight. It's it's bewildering. It is. Do you change tact looking into the uh, the Kidderminster game? Is it one of those things where you think, well, you don't you don't want to be too knee jerk about something and, and pass this off as what it is, which is just kind of the, the worst day of the office you can you can possibly have? Or yeah, like I say, it's never happened to us before. I've never known the, the most goals we've ever conceded before was Liverpool. You know, in the space of five weeks, we've conceded fifteen goals in over two games. Never known nothing like it. Now we have worked towards something, but what today has done is shown up the frailties within that that system. Um, what I've always said and what Bernard's always said is that we're, we're very pragmatic in, in, in how you know we play and, and what we do depending on, on the opposition. That, that's the same again on Tuesday. Um, you know, watch the game back, but uh, the more I watch that game back, the more it's just going to probably commit murder or something like that. And it, you know, just I've never, never. You, you want to be able to go put a line under it and go right, okay, it's a one-off. And I suppose with the game being so quick in two or three days, it almost will tell us if it's a one-off or not. Um, but even then, I think even if we go and win 2-0, on, 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 that will stick. That will stick with us for a long, long time. It'll stick with the, the supporters for a long, long time. Um, it's going to be a difficult one you know, to, to try and address. Can you just touch a bit more on Gary Roberts sending off? Do you think that was harsh or do you think it was the right decision? Well, we were making a substitution, actually, me and Burr, um, as it happened. So we, we literally the only two that didn't see it. Everyone's, everybody else has said it was nowhere near the sending off. It wasn't even a booking, one or two said. So I can only go off what, what, what their reaction is. What, what I will say and it isn't bitterness or nothing. when you come here you don't tend to get decisions you don't get penalties you don't get that type of stuff it's just the way it is um, and if it's what everyone's saying it is in terms of the, being a soft decision it doesn't, it doesn't really surprise me um, when things are going against you it, it's just, the referees are automatically thinking oh he's done that because he's a little bit peed off with, with what's going on on the pitch you know is that something though you will look at the video to see if you'll appeal it? Oh, we will, of course. Yeah, absolutely, we will. But we don't want to, if Gary was our best player. It's a ridiculous thing. Was it four 0 I think they got sent off. Mm -hmm. He was our best player by a million mile again. Um, so, you know, if 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 it's one of them that we can we can put something together and appeal, you know, through, through the media lads and, and whatnot, getting getting the footage, then 100% we'll do it. Yeah. Cheers, John. Okay, cheers, John.